So this morning, Google released an announcement from their CEO of Google and Alphabet, who owns Google, that their new language-based AI model, BARD, B-A-R-D, is now ready to launch to the marketplace. Now, this is a language-based AI model very similar to OpenAI's and ChatGPT. Now, I actually knew that this was gonna to come to the marketplace over a year ago when I heard some information from somebody who worked inside Google and they said they would purchased an AI language-based tool. Now, I thought that was going to be to detect and search down AI content. I believe that they was gonna use this language-based tool to try and control the influx of AI content onto their platform. But it looks like they're just gonna bring out this tool to rival maybe open AI's system. Now, what's gonna happen with blogging over the next few years is a little bit daunting to a lot of people. And I believe not only will it be daunting, it'll also be interesting. And it's also, in my opinion, gonna bring a lot of opportunities to our space. Particularly if you're new to blogging and you can embrace technology and you can have a look at how these tools can help you develop and create better, more interesting content, then I believe you have an opportunity to really succeed in this space. Now I'm gonna answer the elephant in the room question. Is blogging dead? And I don't think it is. I think it's only going to get stronger. I think it's gonna become more available to everybody but we are gonna have to develop. We are gonna have to learn to work with these systems that are gonna be in place. We're gonna have to work with the new SERP results that will be showing in Google. And I'm sure with this new AI tool that they have, BARD, that Google will change the way results are shown in their search engine. Now, don't forget, there are also a business. They're an advertising company primarily, and they make their revenue from display ads. So they are gonna wanna work with publishers. They're not gonna want to use this tool to wipe out publishers. So let's not get this wrong here. And I think if you produce quality original content, I think you will still see better results than content that's generated purely through these AI tools. Now don't forget these AI tools like Google Bard and ChatGBT, they're not primarily designed to write blog post content. They're an assistant, they're a tool to help provide information in a speedy and less complicated manner, kind of getting straight to the point. So don't think that these tools are here to help bloggers set up new websites and create millions and millions of articles every week. That's not really what these tools are designed for. And I still think, in fact, Google do actually mention in their terms and conditions that if you use these tools in a unproductive way or you misuse them, you will still get penalized. They will still look for ways to penalize a site that actually uses them incorrectly people who are trying to cheat the system, trying to overwhelm Google. Now, don't forget Google as a business uses technology. It has systems, it has servers, hard drives, all that technology, and it only has a limited resource. So it isn't gonna allow everybody to swamp the search index with, it is gonna need to control that. So I do still think it will have quality control measures in place, what that will look like, I do not know. Whether they will use their AI language base to BARD to search out that content, again, I am not sure. But it's certainly gonna be an interesting platform to be in over the next couple of years. And I do think now more than ever, we need a community. We need people talking. We need people testing. We need people to come together and really support each other. Now, will a few people in our space bow out and give up? Yes, undoubtedly they will. And will some people succeed and thrive? Yes, again, they will. Some people using these tools will thrive. Some people building brands with original content and human writers will survive. In fact, I think they will do better than anybody. I think Google needs to search and display information in the SERPs better, and I think it will look to brands and companies that produce original content to be the forefront, to be the ones it recommends, shows, and displays in the top positions in Google. 
So interesting time, Google Bard versus Chat GPT. Which one will win? Let the fight begin. Let's see who comes out on top. But it's certainly going to be a roller coaster over the next couple of years. And like I say, come together as a community. Let's meet up. Let's talk. Let's discuss this. Let's build these networks of support with each other. And we can actually see if we can use all this new technology to our advantage. So thanks for joining me. So check out Google's AI language base to Bard. I will leave a link in the description for the announcement that they made today. Go check it out, read it for yourself. Let me know what you think. Please comment below, what do you think? Is this getting crazy? Is it gonna wreck blogging? Is blogging over? Or will blogging thrive over the next few years? Comment below, please. I'd love to hear your opinion. No hate, you either like AI content, you don't like AI content. It's not a battle about that, in my opinion. Let's not go beating each other up. It's how we can work with the system that is in place now and that is developing and will be in place in the next couple of years. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.